morning, everyone. So you probably wonder, what am I going to talk to you about today? And what am I doing up here today, right? I'm not a startup co-founder, not a unicorn startup co-founder. I'm not an Asian Games Olympic medalist. I am not a third generation tycoon, right? So what could possibly this 27 years old guy have to say and have to tell you about things that you might already know? And I guess if you let me, I would like to share to you about my beliefs, right? And I believe in a lot of things. I believe that the chicken comes before the egg. I believe in global warming. I believe that our marine biodiversity is unbeatable, is the best. I believe that love at first sight, right? I believe that online self-education or self-learning is the future of education. And most importantly, I believe in myself. So it's very, very cheesy when I say to you or like tell you, believe in yourself, right? It's, it does not get any cheesier than that, really. And sometimes I still cringe whenever I hear the song. I believe I can fly, although I never fail to actually sing along. And here's a lyric for you if you want to you know, hum the songs. But there's a reason why the phrase of believe in yourself has become so mainstream. in our head, and it's, it's, it's becoming very, very popular, right? And there's a reason for that. And maybe to, to the extent that it becomes a bit redundant, right? And so I want to take you back to earlier um, this year. So I have not been exercising for a while. And earlier this year, I decided that, hey, maybe I should take it up again. Then I went to a cycling class called Ride Class. Right? So for those of you who does not familiar with what a Ride Class is, it's basically a meshed up between a, uh, like between a cycling class, a mega church, and also a race party, or like a, technically like a clubs, right? So the setup is really, a, there's a cycling machine, like a, the standard RPM cycling machine, right? There's like a, a room, pitch black, right? The music blasting, um, the AC, you don't know whether it's working or not. And I guess this is one of my favorite thing about the class is also that there is an instructor that basically will jump off their, their cycle to the floor and yell to you about things that, you know, about inspirational things uh, and it goes like, Something like this, right? Like, you're here today. You are here today because, you know, you, there's a reason for that. And you're here, you're stuck with me. And we're going to ride this mountain and climb the mountain together. You are here because you're f freaking fearless. You're here because you can basically own everything in this world. You can conquer the world. And it goes and on and on until the point that it actually numbs your head and numb, numbs you to the core, right? That's, That's with the music blasting, the yelling about the inspirational quotes. And I found myself actually shedding a tear when I hear um, one of the instructors yelling. Um, because it just hit me, you know, it, like, it hits me that I realize that I am physically strong to complete the workout. It hits me that 
I am here today and I will be able to do whatever it takes to get things done, right? And it was also realizing that I don't need to be yelled at or to be screamed at just to believe that I'm actually able to do it, right? So it's, it's very funny because you know, you, you're there and the instructor was yelling at you and sometimes you just like look at them like, like really, are you gonna scream at me that much? Are you gonna scream at me all of this thing? No, I don't need that, right? So I realized that I don't need to be screamed at just to believe that you know, I'll be able to do it, right? And I wanted to take you um, further back in my life when I was still in junior high school. Right? So when I was in junior high school, I realized that I've always been pretty odd looking. Um, I've always been tall. Um, I am now six foot one or 185 centimeters. Um, and I forgot how exactly tall I am back then, but I've always been tall, right? Um, I am five inches taller than the average Indonesian man right now, and two inches taller than most of the Americans, right? Like the American um, standard height is like five foot nine, and I'm six foot one. And I hated it. I know this is silly to say, but I hated being tall. I hated the fact that I'm tall and I felt like people always looking at me and have always been scrutinizing me and finding my flaws and I'm always visible and people can see me from afar. You know, I always hated that, right? So there's something in me that actually felt just weird it just by the fact that I'm tall, right? So moving on to senior high school, I decided that hey, maybe I should just go to like a like a like the school with the best basketball team there. So I managed to get into the the school with the best basketball team, hoping that I would finally fade it in to the background, right? I finally will blend in with all of the tall peoples and people would not notice me as much, right? But even then, I still feel like it didn't quite feel right. I, I felt like something is still missing. I felt like, you know, I, I just don't like being blended in just like that, right? Well, in fact, also like there's a lot of questions um, comes to my way, like, you know, hey, you're tall, do you play basketball? Right? Well, in fact, I did not play basketball. I don't, I'm not part of the basketball team. Well, in fact, also, I'm part of the, basically, the art group, like the creative art group. And I'm also part of the bio biology Olympiad group. I'm also part of like the um, school committee, government, uh, uh, school committee board, right? So, Something was still missing, right? And it was not until my dad actually asked me a question when I was still in 12th grade. Um, and my dad, who by the way did not finish his high school, asked me whether I want to continue my, um, my, my study to university, right? Hey, do you want to, so, so what's your plan? Do you want to cut, do you want to study uh, continuing to university, or do you want to basically just graduate and help me with my business, right? Because he was an entrepreneur. I think he's just doing fine. And, you know, I realize that times after times in our life, we're pushed to constantly make decisions, right? And back then, when he asked me that question, it was handed to me like 100% and you know the decisions that we've been making in our lives are always based on what we believe in are always based on our beliefs basically right and a lot of people are actually and me being one of them 
are where we are in our life because at one point in life, we decided that we're going to believe in something. And at that point in my life, I believe, and looking back you know, to my junior high school and primary school, I, I felt like I believed that I did not live up to the person that I want to be, right? So I, I told him that, yes, I want to continue my study. Um, this is my plan. And he understood that. And it's really based on what I believe what I want to be, right? So this is the two things that comes to my mind on the word of actually, I believe in me, right? First one is sly. A lot of times in our life, we're talking to our head, we're filling our head with basically like false beliefs that we're thinking, oh yeah, we're not good enough, or we are not gonna be able to do that because maybe it's too late for me to do that, right? Well, it's actually something that is just falsely inherited in like our head by ourselves, right? We're, we are lying to ourselves of the fact that we're not gonna be able to do something while in fact you didn't know that's some that's a narrative that's a lie that you created for yourself right and this is something that you know we've we should get rid of right we it's it's okay to be your own biggest critic but on the other side also be your biggest supporter be your biggest cheerleader push this lies that you keep telling to your head that you cannot do it, that you are not worthy of something, that you're deficient of something away from your thoughts. Because it's very easy to basically put this in, in our head. Right? And the second thing that comes to my mind of the word I believe in me is be me. It's very cliche to say also, like, be yourself, like, be yourself, like, and um, throughout my life, I think I realized that we're all here for different reasons. There's a lot of things that an individual can achieve or basically, you know, what they think about life itself, like how they are, actually defining life, how they're defining themselves, how they're defining happiness, how they're defining, you know, dreams. It could be like many, many things, right? And what's important is for you to remember that you're there to create, you're in this life to create your own legacy. So always, always prioritize yourself to make that decision, right? Be yourself. like. If, if you're weird and you're tall looking, uh, like you're, you're odd looking or whatever, just be confident about yourself, right? And we as a humans, um, we share a lot of things. Um, we, share the, we share the fact of humanity, of course, and what comes with it, dreams, fears, wants, like beliefs, but we also don't share like many things, like race, for example, religion, education level, gender identity, marital status, sexual orientation, and a lot of things, right? But our dreams manifest in our lives because we believe, not because we're actually you know, defined by those characteristics. So I want you all here to repeat and say this to yourself that, you know, I believe in me. Thank you.